What's up, guys? Cali Sunset Gaming with you again. We're on to the next episode of the FIFA 22 Road to Glory with Sunset City FC. Last episode was pretty difficult for us. We ended up winning two and losing two in the league, but we're still second. We're only a point behind the leaders. Nine games gone. Got a busy month this month. Again, all league games, but important that we get as many wins as possible just to try and not only take over the leaders, but create a gap. So let's get to it. So six games we've got this month. Pretty well spread out. It's only like a two-week period where we've got a game every three days. But apart from that, you know, we're, we should be okay. We haven't got a lot of squad depth. That's the only reason I'm a little bit worried when we start getting midweek fixtures. But we'll see how we go. The first game of the episode is a game against Newport County. This is a game that we're going to sim. We're going for a full-strength lineup apart from Andrews having to sit out and Smart stepping in. Newport County going for a 5-3-2. They've got Baker Richardson and Telford up top. Let's see how we do. 2-1 win. A double from Elliot. I'm happy with that. Great way to start the episode. These sim games might end up going in our favour this season. There was a lot of sim games that we played on other career modes that I've done that have definitely not gone my way, but I'm, I'm, I'm quietly confident. Back in the lobby, let's have a look at the news reports that have popped up. Jonathan Smart, Sunset City FC. He's got big shoes to fill. There's no denying that. So I think it, it's not going to look great for him because of uh, how well Andrew's played in pre-season that I did off camera and also at the start of the season. Fantastic player. It is going to be difficult for Smart. He's short and strong. You, I expect him to be fast, but he's not very fast. A lot of uh, wing backs have had the better of him. Assist leader, Austin Franklin, six assists in 10 games. He might end up being just as good for us as Richardson. That partnership, that duo, I'm vibing it. I'm all for it. Have a good time. We'll sim this game as well. Let's have a look if we can possibly take Smart out. What we'll do is we will let Hall go in his place. It's difficult because obviously we've got left wingers and right wingers, but a lot of them do sort of fit into that mould of sort of like a wide attacking midfielder. Uh, Wells, case in point, brilliant. Hopefully Hall can step up and do just as well. Richardson with a double again. Ah, Collins with another... <sighs> Away from home. We are the boys. Look at that possession. Look at that. 62% to 38% in their own backyard. That is criminal. I love it. So we're back in the lobby. I do have a few notifications off camera. I'll be honest. I may have started looking for some players to get hold of. Probably not going to be something I go into too much depth in this episode. Just because it's it's we've got ages until... The January transfer window, so there's no point in me trying to rush anything now. But let's just have a look to see if any of them actually make the shortlist. Uh, Roland Varga, rated 69, left midfielder. I just got him because of his pace, really. Those of you with the uh, returning fans may notice that I've tried to get hold of Pizarro. Obviously, if you saw my uh, Road to Glory, my journeyman career mode on FIFA 21. You will know that I'm a big fan of Rodolfo Pizarro. If it wasn't for him, I don't think I would have got to the playoffs. He was the boy. That's the only way I can describe him. The boy. I've also got Nicholas Figal, who was a great defender for me at uh, Inter Miami. Hopefully, I can convince him to come to the lowest tier of English football. But they've not got long on their contracts left, so I'm hoping that their contracts don't get renewed and we sort of offer them something and they go for it. When I was playing my other save that was previous on my channel uh, before it corrupted, Mitchell Duke was actually a player that I was looking at. And rated 67 as a striker, value just under a million. Look at that. He's going to be great for balls into the box. I'll shortlist him, see if I can get hold of him. Next game against Forest Green. We'll sim this game as well. Top of the league. 24 points, 11 games in. You know, we're staying in that zone. I'm happy about that. It's not necessarily important about being top at the moment, but what's important is that we're we're in the zone. We, you know, we're in the top six. We're not sort of becoming adrift. That's what I'm happy with. And then on top of that as well, 
Richardson, 17 years of age, is still the top scorer in this division. We're making moves, baby. That's all I'm saying. So our team remains unchanged. Smart stepping back into the central attacking midfield role. Slightly moved to the left and Forest Green are going for a 5-3-2 with Stevens and Matt up top. Another 3-1 win at the Boulevard. Elliot getting a goal. Franklin getting a goal. Franklin getting a double. I genuinely feel as if this 4-2-2-2 formation is just the kryptonite to a 5-3-2. I really do. We're back in the lobby. The next game is a game against Barrow. This is a game that we're going to play. We are still top of the table. Still two points clear. Let's see how we get on. Sunset City FC versus Barrow. Our team remains unchanged. Barrow are going for a 5-3-2 formation with Grayson, Platt and Arthur as their back three. Got Banks and Taylor in midfield with James and Gordon up top. Bruff and Brown as their wing backs. Sunset City versus Barrow. Sunset City kicking off. Intercepted by Banks. Taylor to James. Brown. Well tackled. I don't think that was a corner, to be completely honest. Oh, dear God. Gordon. Back heels it to Banks. Nope. Oh, it's saved. Goes out front of the corner. I thought that was a goal. I thought we conceded. Immediately, Barrow piling the pressure on. Ball in. Get that clear. Collins does well. Platt gathers, gives it to Bruff. Platt on the edge of the area to James. Collins. Great ball played to Wells. Franklin at the back post. Couldn't get it to him. Right, let's calm it down. Let's calm it down. Banks to Taylor. James gives it to Bruff. How would they kept that in? No way. No way. I'm in shock. Again, it's just that tight one touch passing. Look at how's he play how's that stayed in? And the fans are singing, you're not singing anymore. Rubbing salt into the wound. Robbie Gotts with the goal 33 minutes in. Mark's going to lose out here as well. Unbelievable. Half time whistle goes. Smart is shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. He is terrible. We haven't really had a shot on goal. We haven't created anything. There's nothing, nothing going on up top, which is really frustrating. Such a terrible pass. We survive again, just. Wells. Franklin's in on goal. And it's one all. He steps up. A graphic appeared at the end of the first half to say that it was a slow day at the office. Well, he's arrived at the office and he's brought biscuits. He's brought biscuits for everyone to dunk their tea in. It's party time, boys. All right? We're on the comeback. Barrow trying to play it around us again. That's a foul. 
Franklin with the header. That was awful. <sighs> Pass intercepted. They just read it. Just read it. They've intercepted a pass again. And it's C. It's the sub. 83 minutes in. This is going to be harder than I thought. We just... The passes are so difficult. Well, not for me. For the team. I'm not the type of manager that will deflect. I'm throwing these all under the bus straight away. They're terrible. God damn it. Elliot to Wells. Plays it out to Farmer. Who manages to get a ball in. It's cleared. Unbelievable. Bruff has swapped wings. And the full-time whistle goes. It's a 2-1 loss to Barrow. It's just too difficult towards the back end of each game. Um, Dimitri see the substitute scoring the winning goal. Unbelievable. Back in the lobby after that loss, we've got another league game against Crawley Town. No rest for the wicked. We're straight back on it. This is another game that we're going to play. Let's just have a look at the lineups before we kick off. We go into this next game against Crawley Town. We've only made two changes, so Hall is stepping in for Smart, and Richardson is having a bit of a rest, and Baldwin's going to step in. But I have got Richardson on the bench just in case I need him. Crawley Town going for a 4-4-2. Ferry, Payne, Hessenthaler, and Grego Cox as their midfield, with Nichols and Navasan up top. So... Crawley Town come to the boulevard expecting a win I imagine not on my watch let's step it up Wells gives it to Collins early Franklin no thought it was going to be a bullet header Ball played out wide to Grego Cox. Payne gets it clear. Wells managed to pull the defender out of position. Just gives it straight back to him. Unbelievable. Ferry. Oh, come on. Just get hold of it. Nichols moving down that wing. Blocked by Smith. The passes are just so... I tell you what, Smith. Well in. What a tackle. And then he pulled my own hamstring gesture in a tackle. It's not very good, is it? That's gone off. Franklin, long ball over to Wells. Farmer gets hold of it. Baldwin, in on goal, blocked. Yeah. Ah. God's sake.
Get up. Oh, for God's sake. This is going to be another seven month rabbit. Well, smart. You know, you were out of form and now you're playing because I've got nobody else. So. Unbelievable. Losing Wells and Andrews. That's us crippled. We are doomed. Payne gives it to Ferry. Nichols and Ferry linking up. That's a penalty as well. That's a penalty. That is a, such a stupid tackle to make. But I did it anyway. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Bailey. I knew it was going that way. I knew it. This game could not be going any worse. The half time whistle goes. I don't want to play this anymore. I just... I wouldn't be as mad if Wells didn't get injured. Wells getting injured has proper put a downer on the game. Like, I'm just... I'm, I'm not vibing it anymore. I'm really not. And... God knows what's going to happen to this league now that we've... You haven't got Wells or Andrews. A little chip ball through for Baldwin. Baldwin gets a hold of it. That ball's intercepted. That's such a hospital pass. Keeper's got to come out for it. Does well. Bailey is keeping us in it. Big time. Right. I'm bringing Feeney and Richardson on. We need to try and salvage something from this game. Come on, boys. Feeney. First touch of the ball for him. Man. Richardson gives it to Smart. Feeney gets hold of it. In on goal. Wide of the post. One of the only opportunities we had in the game. Gutted. Booze around the stadium, not surprised. We lose 1 0. We just didn't create anything at all. It wasn't until Feeney came on that we started taking shots on goal. And he came on in like the 60th minute. We're back in the lobby. Let's have a look at the damage, shall we? <laughs> I can't. I just. I cannot, I, 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 I'm lost for words, I'm, I'm lost for words. I set these sliders, that's the most ridiculous thing out of all of it. I can't even be that mad because it's me who set the sliders. I just can't, I don't know what I'm meant to do. What am I meant to do? Last game is against Colchester. We're going to play this one as well, all right? I have to win. I must win a game that I play. I'm... Fed up with losing. I'll show you guys the lineups for a kickoff. We're going to be losing Wells, which is going to cripple us. I'll be honest. Sunset City FC versus Colchester. We're putting Hall in for Wells. 
What a terrible trade-off that is. Colchester go in for a 4-5-1. They have Skous and Wiredu as their central defensive midfielders. Jasper, George and Hannett making up the rest of the midfield with Sears up top by himself. Here we go. Kick off Colchester. Get the game rolling. Still managed to keep hold of it. Collins gives it back to Franklin, who plays a. L I need a minute. <laughs> that really fucking pissed me off. <laughs> oh. Okay, we move. Just being brought, just being brought down in the area. Pro it's probably just because he's got low strength, but. My eyes lit up. Oh, what? Out! Good save, Bailey. Good save. Judge. Ball played to Hannah. Gets it back. Fortunately, goes out for a goal kick. Yeah, Elliot picking up a yellow card. I expected that. I did expect it. That tackle that he made was very late. Collins gives it to Franklin plays the ball over really well gathered Elliot oh, is that a cross or a shot either way it was terrible pain play it out wide Collins what a ball Farmer. Collins. Oh. The man of the moment. Do not give him space from range. He is lethal. I, I genuinely thought he was going wide of the post. I genuinely did not expect that to go in. What a strike. Head down, drills it. Keeper just couldn't reach it. We go 1 0 up, and it's Collins, that man again, from range. Half time whistle goes. That was difficult towards the end. Just needed to survive to the half time whistle, and we have managed it. We go in 1 0 up against Colchester. Franklin does well to hold off his man. Who's that to? Should be intercepting that. Jasper. Weredu. He's found space again. It's so easy for him to find space in the middle. Blocked. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I thought he had hold of it. I thought he was going to clear it. And he just slid. Paul, you've got to move now. Jasper's on you. Oh, ref. Play on. Richardson. Gets tackled. Hall still has hold of it. Elliot. Great pass to Payne. Ball in. Franklin's there, but he's marked heavily. Hannah's pass intercepted. Hall. His cross is blocked. Still applying the pressure. Leave that, leave that. Yeah, we'll take the throw, we'll take the throw. Full time whistle goes, and it's a 1 0 win. We bounce back with a win against Colchester. Thank God for that. 
again, another difficult game. Every game, I, I thought it was going to be easy when the season first started. I thought we're getting in a rhythm, but it's it's a lot tougher than that. And these sliders are a, a testament to just how difficult they can make the game. One goal separates the two teams, and it's a wonder strike from Collins, the boy. So, guys, we'll leave it there for that episode. Thank you for checking out. I appreciate it. If you haven't already, make sure that you smash like on this video as well as click subscribe if you like content like this. I appreciate you guys checking it out and I will see you guys next time on Cali Sunset Gaming.